All right, so I know that I said I would try not to do a multiple part video, but eh, I've seen this and I couldn't resist. Now I'm gonna try to cut down on this as much as I can, but the video I'm looking at is around 25 minutes long, so. Now let me just go ahead and start off by saying that this person has about a quarter million subscribers. That pretty much equates to once I start uploading these, I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get a wonderful amount of hate in my comment section, and so many downvotes. It's it's gonna be wonderful, guys. And all I have to say to all the people out there with the pitchforks and torches in their hands, fucking go for it. I'm not gonna ask that you be civil. I'm not even gonna ask that you be nice. However, what I do ask is that you at least be creative when you try to insult me, because I do read my comments. And if I'm going to have to sift through more than one of them, I, I want to at least be mildly amused while I'm doing it. That being said, this entire video is going to fall balls deep within fair use. I'm going to be criticizing this lady and commenting on her views and opinions, with views and opinions of my own. So let's get started. Hey guys, today I wanted to sit down and have a very important chat. This chat doesn't only apply to girls. This applies to boys too. This is going to be a very personal chat about my own experience with this topic. Let's just go ahead and stop right here. You see, this is another perfect example of what I find wrong with feminism. All these things that they talk about come from an emotional standpoint. It comes from their own personal experience. So they never talk about it from an unbiased position. There is no female problem that you can point out that no man has not also suffered. Unless you're pointing out biology. And with my views on it, and I really think it's a very, very important thing to talk about. So I'm talking about feminism today. And so it begins. I want to speak about what it is, what's going on in the world. What I sort of want to talk about more is how did we get to this point? I actually have an answer for you. You see, back in the day, women actually didn't have rights. So they introduced feminism into society to gain the rights to vote and equality under the law. And then they did it. Feminism achieved its goal. Equality under the law. But you know what? Some women couldn't handle being equal. They wanted to be more equal. They wanted equality. They wanted equality. Plus, through some fucking magic, through some fucking necromancy, they resurrected the fucking zombie corpse of feminism to walk the earth once again. And to this very day, we cannot figure out how to kill this horrendous fucking beast. <laughs> Seriously, though. If you're advocating for certain groups equality, and then they get equality, and you don't fucking stop, this is what you get. Like, let's backtrack, like kind of start figuring out in our heads so we actually really know what it's about and how we can make some changes, not only for girls to be more aware of what's going on, but really for guys to kind of pick out in their friendship groups maybe what they might do that is not helping out with the current situation. What the fuck are you talking about? Come on, what men do in their own groups is their business, so long as it's not against the law. Most people don't give a fuck about whatever current situation you have. They have situations of their own which you don't give a flying fuck about either, let's be honest. I talked to you guys about how I got to the point where I am now saying I'm a feminist. So starting from this point on, you might find me fast forwarding and summarizing what she says. Keep in mind that I'll be drawing my own conclusions about what she says and summarizing them in my own way. If you would like to hear what she actually says and draw your own conclusions, a link to her video will be in the description below. Also, keep in mind that I'm doing this entirely for the purpose of saving some time. If I didn't, this entire little video would be end up being like 40-50 minutes long. I grew up being completely objectified. I was taught to sexualize myself to be given the approval from a man. Here we go. Now, I don't know you, and you don't know me, but I have serious doubts that you were actively taught to sexualize yourself. Wouldn't it be more fair to actually say that you adopted this mentality from the people and situations around you? And when I say a man, I mean the boys that were living where I was, that were going to the parties I was going to, and not only to be um, given approval from them, but also from my girlfriends at the time and the girl group and like the friendship group that I was in. And I did this because this would make me cool or this would validate me. Now here we already have some interesting talking points. Now I don't blame children for peer pressure or any of that other shit because they're children. Now your interpretations of what happened when you grow up, I find you a little more accountable for. It would just be incorrect of you to interpret these things as if you didn't have a choice. 
you wanted validation. You, you wouldn't suddenly suffocate from lack of validation. You chose to be around these people and go to these places and expose yourself to these things. Unless you're about to tell me about the man that held a gun to your head. It eventually came to a point where the only reason we went to parties and we'd go out was to hook up with boys. Now, do you see how this completely destroys your complaint about being objectified when you were younger? You clearly stated and you knew that you were going out for the sole purpose of getting with these guys. <laughs> you were objectifying these guys. You were not seeing them as people, you were seeing them as something to, to be obtained for validation and to be cool. Again, I'm not criticizing your child self. Everybody does stupid things when they're younger and you can only be held accountable to a certain degree. But don't sit there now and say that looking back you were objectified and completely gloss over the fact that you were also objectifying other people. And whoever could get the hottest guy or the coolest guy, this is the reason why we went. We dressed up, tight dresses, high heels, a whole lot of makeup on our face, and we just went to go and try and be seen and to be and to appear cool and to look cool and to try and get with the coolest guy because then you'd be the coolest girl, right? Maybe I'm the exception. I I actually don't understand this. When I was going to school, I did what I want because I thought it was fun and I hung out with who I wanted to because I thought they were awesome. Now, I could have chosen to hang out with the cool kids and hang out with just a particular group of people, but I chose not to do that. Maybe I was the exception. Okay, maybe I was just fucking weird, but I really didn't care what anybody else thought about me except what I thought about me. And there were people who didn't like me. There were people who would call me names. And you know what? I still didn't care. If they wanted to do something about it, they would come up to me and they would try to be a bully and they would try to fight me. But you know what? I would fight back. I was literally bullied at times just to conform with everybody else, but I fought back and said, fuck this shit, it's stupid. I'll do what I want. And you know what? That was my choice. Then you'd be validated in the group you were with your friends. They'd be like, I'm going to still be friends with her because she's cool. So your real problem is that you didn't say, fuck these guys and get new friends. I'd be made to feel like total shit. I remember every single party went down talking about this is when I was in maybe grade, or starting kind of grade nine, we started going to these parties. And it was when everyone started drinking, went to an all-girls private school. So we started going to parties with other boys that went to all-boys private schools and other all-girls private schools. And I was friends with girls not only from my school, but from a few other private girls' schools. Does that make sense? So I was kind of in, in this group. They were all the cool girls or whatever the hell it was. Oh, yeah, you see, this right here is where we differ. See, I wasn't actually privileged enough to go to a private school. I had to go to public school. Also, my drinking days started way back when I was like 12. Seriously, do you not understand how privileged you come off to me? <laughs> to give you an idea, okay, and this is a true story. Now, back in my party days, I think I was around 13 or 14, maybe around 15, and I was, I was hanging around people between my age and 30 and 40. Okay, we're all sitting there drinking, having a good time, and, and a fucking possum walks up on the little group that I'm around, and some guy takes off and kicks the sh just fucking football kicks this son of a bitch in the head. And this thing just goes flying and rolling down the hill. And a little bit later on, I remember a guy punching it and shoving a cigarette up its ass for some reason. Anyway, when I wake up in the morning, there's a fucking dead possum up in the trees. So you may be asking yourself, Captain, what, what the hell is your point? Why are you bringing this up? Well, I just want to draw a little bit of contrast as to where... I was at at this point in my life and where she was at at that point in her life. While she was worried about looking cool and fitting in and these guys were worried about getting girls, I'm sitting here wondering about what would possess a man to not only kick and punch a possum to death, but then go to shove a cigarette up its ass. See now I'm not trying to belittle your problems, your problems are your own, they're yours to worry about. But when I wake up in the morning and I have to look up at a, a dead fucking possum staring at me down from a tree. It, it makes me think that maybe you didn't have enough going on in your life if all that you had to worry about was looking cool and validation and how oppressed you were. I'm honestly also not afraid to talk out about this. Some of them are probably watching this right now and this is what it is. Like, I'm not afraid to talk about this stuff right now because it was fucked. Like, what we went through was actually fucked and I hope that maybe if they're watching this now you can reflect on what actually went on. But I'm going to tell a story of the one party I remember where I honestly felt like total shit where it all kind of started look i've been to shit parties too you can always do one of two things you can a get a fucking ride the hell out of there call your fucking parents if you need to 
It doesn't matter. If you, if you don't like the place and you don't want to be there, don't fucking be there. Or two, if you, for some reason, you can't get a ride out of there, go away from the party. Go drink away from the party. Hang out with somebody away from the party until it's time to leave. I was not like a hot girl or anything. I was pretty chubby. I wasn't the most glamorous looking person ever. And so I already had a lot of anxiety going to certain parties with big groups of guys and stuff because I was always scared what they might think of me or if they would call me fat or if they would call me names or whatever. I was kind of a chubby kid too, but I was actually not middle class. I was probably lower class. I didn't have great things. I didn't have great clothes. And my worries were more about somebody pulling out a gun or a fucking knife and going at somebody else because some shit went down at this party. I'm not trying to say I was some kind of badass either. Don't get me wrong. It was just the fucking parties I went to and that sort of thing just, it just wasn't a fucking big deal to me. I could handle myself and I've been in many situations where shit has hit the fan. So you'll have to excuse me if I just don't take your problems as seriously. Alright everyone, this concludes part one. Now, this is, I have no idea how many parts this is going to end up being because I've got like 20 more minutes left of video to go through. I, I may just have to straight up just cut it in half or I don't know. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I hope, I hope that you bitch about it in the comments below. <laughs> Make my day. Anyway, I'll see you in part two. Until then, keep up the fight against stupidity wherever you may find it, and have a lovely evening.